The Crazy and Bold Life of Sacagawea Sacagawea lived a bold, brave life. She served as an interpreter and field guide on the Lewis and Clark Expedition. Here are some curious facts about this incredible Native American woman. 1. She was kidnapped as a teenager and married by age 13. Sacagawea was born into the Lemai Shoshone, the Northern Shoshone tribe. Her name means bird woman. When she was around 12 years old, a rival tribe kidnapped her. She was taken by the French-Canadian fur trader to Saint Charbonneau. Sacagawea became one of his two wives. She was around 13 years old at the time of her marriage. Due to him, she was taken on as interpreter for the Lewis and Clark expedition. 2. She gave birth to her son a mere two months before the expedition. Sacagawea took her son, John Baptiste, and set off toward the Rockies in 1805. This served as a symbol of peace to any potential foes. During the journey, the image of Sacagawea on the US gold dollar coin shows John Baptiste in a carrier on her back. 3. She was not an Indian princess. Neither was she romantically involved with Lewis or Clark. Sacagawea was just a knowledgeable traveling guide to the two men. The idea that she was a princess is a fiction. It was constructed by the novelist and suffragette, Eva Emery Dye. Dye wanted to depict Sacagawea as a compelling heroine and symbol of female bravery. 4. There's a river named after Sacagawea's many daring exploits. The Sacagawea River is located in north-central Montana. The expedition team tried to cross the river using pirogues. On May 14, 1805, several pirogues capsized on a crossing. Lots of supplies tumbled out of the boats. They included the journals and notes of Lewis and Clark. Sacagawea rescued the journals from the water. The journals were very important. They documented everything we know about the Lewis and Clark expedition today. 5. She helped the expedition survive due to her family ties. The expedition team encountered a group of Shoshones. Sacagawea recognized the group's leader as her brother Kamiwait. Sacagawea helped the expedition purchase horses from her brother's group. This purchase enabled the expedition to cross the Rocky Mountains. 6. She voted on big decisions of the expedition. Once the expedition reached Astoria, Oregon, they voted on where to build their winter fort. Sacagawea was given a vote on the matter. The expedition, composed entirely of men, had been impressed by her. This fact wasn't lost on the National American Women's Suffrage Association. They took Sacagawea on as a model of tough, independent womanhood. Many statues were erected in her honor. 7. No one knows the cause of her death. It is debated among different historical traditions. Many historical accounts cite her as coming down with putrid fever. Possibly it happened after the birth of Sacagawea's daughter in 1812. Another record says Sacagawea left her husband in 1812. She crossed the Great Plains and married into a Comanche tribe. In this framework, she died in 1884 after returning to the Shoshone.